The faculty of the hospitality department would like to welcome you to our online orientation. The hospitality industry is experiencing rapid growth in a wide range of settings. Our three programs of study prepare students to meet the challenges of the industry. We're glad you're here and we're excited about the prospect of working with you. This orientation is an overview of our three programs. It should take about 20 minutes. We'll cover the items listed on the agenda in greater detail in the following slides. Our HRM program began in 1984. The culinary program started in 1989, and in response to a growing need, the baking and pastry arts program began in 2008. Our programs are well established, and we're consequently well embedded in the culinary community. You'll find current students and alumni working in a wide variety of hospitality-based businesses both in the local area and nationally. Both of our culinary and baking and pastry arts programs are accredited by the American Culinary Federation's accrediting body. The student population in our programs span a broad range of ages and experiences. It's not out of the ordinary to have students right out of high school standing alongside older career changers. So each of the students here we consider typical students. The students who excel, however, are those that are motivated, who show up on time, who come in prepared and ready to work. Let's talk a little about what you can expect from our programs, starting with degrees, diplomas, and certificates. Certificates generally consist of about five classes and require 16 to 18 credit hours. Certificates allow an opportunity to improve or increase skill level in specialty areas such as breads, entrepreneurship, and human resource management. Diploma requirements are usually between 40 and 43 credit hours. Students who are diploma seeking are generally looking for a more in-depth understanding or skill level. This level of study is appropriate for individuals who are starting or working in home-based businesses. We offer two-year Associate of Arts degrees in all three of our programs, HRM, Culinary, and Baking and Pastry Arts. Degree-seeking students are generally those who have chosen the field as their profession. Degree requirements in the three programs range between 68 and 72 credit hours. We always advise new students to consider declaring a double or triple major. It doesn't cost anything for you to declare multiple majors, and you don't have to add a lot of classes to achieve more than one degree. In addition, when you've declared multiple majors, you avoid registration blocks because you can register for any class in any of the curriculums. We also advise you to apply for certificates across the disciplines as you work towards your degree. Many of these you'll automatically achieve. While you do have to apply for them with the registrar, they're useful credentials that you can use uh, before you graduate. Please be certain to come in and talk with a faculty advisor within the department. We can ensure that you take the most efficient path towards your goal. We sometimes know some tricks that we can help with to get you there in a more efficient manner. We offer day and evening classes to accommodate the need for varying schedules. Many of our degree-seeking students also work and may only be able to attend classes part-time. It can sometimes take longer to complete a degree under those circumstances. However, there's no substitute for real work experience, so we encourage you to work in the industry first so that you have a true picture of what the industry experience is. We also believe it enhances your studies. We believe in small class sizes so that we can provide quality instruction. Class sizes for most of the culinary and baking classes, which require lab work, will be no larger than 10 to 12 students. There is little, if any, group work ensuring that you have daily hands-on experience. Some of the seated management classes may have as many as 25 to 30 students, as do many of the online classes. All students who complete degree programs are recognized by the American Culinary Federation. The total cost for the degree programs, including tuition, books, uniforms, and supplies, are typically as follows. The HRM degree costs approximately $6,500, the culinary degree about $8,000, and the baking and pastry arts degree around 8500 This is a fraction of what it might cost for you to attend two-year programs in other local culinary schools. Much of the expense in the culinary and baking programs is front-loaded, meaning that the cost may be higher in the beginning semesters. This is mainly due to the requirement to purchase books, uniforms, knives, and equipment. Generally speaking, it will cost around $1,000 a semester. 
we'd like to introduce you to our full-time instructors. There is more detailed information about each instructor on the following slides. Chef Hadley's experience in the industry has been long and varied. He began working as a culinary instructor for Wake Tech in 2001. Since 2008, he has been the department head, overseeing all three of our programs. You can read more about his experience here. While Chef Hadley can teach any of the classes in all of the programs, his administrative responsibilities prevent him from teaching as much as he'd like. He coordinates much of the work-based learning class and annual exchange programs with a culinary school in France. He is the man to see if you have questions about substitutions for classes already completed. His contact information appears on the slide. If you email Chef Hadley, please include your student ID number. Chef Morph is the lead culinary instructor at Wake Tech. He began his culinary career in Switzerland. He completed multiple apprenticeship programs there before refining his skills in hotels in Switzerland and North Carolina. Chef Morph came to Wake Tech in 1986, crafting the culinary program beginning in 1989. He started with as few as 12 students. Today, we have approximately 200 students coming through the kitchen weekly. Consequently, we think of Chef Morph as the father of Wake Tech's culinary program. Chef Morph teaches a variety of our advanced culinary classes and is a valuable resource for both current students and graduates. Chef Hallett graduated from Johnson & Wales in Charleston, South Carolina. He's another valuable asset to Wake Tech's culinary program. He's been with Wake Tech since 1996 and teaches a variety of culinary classes such as basic culinary skills, sanitation, garmage one, and global cuisine. He also teaches fundamentals of food for hospitality management students, which instructs them in basic principles of cooking, baking, and kitchen operations. Chef Bales came to Wake Tech in 2009 after many years of successful experience in large institutional dining facilities. He teaches basic culinary skills, helping new students to formulate the ever-important fundamental skills that they'll continue to build upon. He also teaches Garmage 1 and 2 basic and more advanced cold food preparation. In addition, Chef Bales is the man that keeps us in provisions. He is our purchasing agent and he does it very successfully in spite of the miscalculations and plunders of others. We can all assist him in his purchasing tasks by meticulously returning groceries and dry goods to their appropriate place in the storeroom. Chef House is Wake Tech's lead baking instructor. She has been teaching at Wake Tech since 1991, making her the second longest running instructor here. She constructed the baking and pastry arts program that began in 2008. During her tenure at Wake Tech, Chef House has taught a variety of culinary and baking classes. She currently focuses on the baking and pastry degree program, teaching the more advanced classes such as chocolate artistry, confection artistry, and production to name only a few. I'm Chef DeMarco. I've been with Wake Tech since January of 2013, making me one of the newest full-time instructors here. I teach some culinary, like Garmage 1, but primarily baking and pastry arts classes, such as Baking 1, Baking 2, and European Cakes. I'm working to sharpen my teaching skills with each semester. I look forward to an opportunity to work with new students, and I hope that you'll be one. Jane Broden is the lead hospitality instructor. She's been with Wake Tech since 1996, and she's developed many of the hospitality classes. Jane has extensive experience in corporate dining and hotels. She can teach any of the HRM classes as well as marketing, customer care, service classes, and Spanish in the workplace. Jane's bright and bubbly and engaging, and she possesses all of the perfect attributes for ensuring excellent customer service. Suya Campos Rosa is the youngest and newest full-time instructor here at Wake Tech. She is also a graduate of our program. She has front-of-the-house experience at local fine dining facilities and does an excellent job of sharing her meticulous skills with students. She teaches a variety of HRM classes such as the service classes and sanitation. Suya also manages Flavors, the acclaimed student-run restaurant on Wake Tech's main campus. In addition to our full-time instructors, Wake Tech utilizes the talents of a wide variety of industry professionals as adjunct or part-time instructors. 
Most of the adjunct instructors have full-time positions in specialty areas of the industry. They share their considerable talents as part-time instructors on a limited basis. Many of our adjuncts have been with us for several years teaching one or two classes a semester, but they may change from semester to semester depending on class need and professional schedules. Many of our current adjuncts are graduates of our programs. We are always so proud when they return and give their time to pass on the craft to new students. As mentioned earlier, there are three separate programs of study, culinary, baking, and hospitality. New students must take the required Math 110 and English 111 in the first semester if they haven't already satisfied these requirements. Culinary and baking students can also take Sanitation and Safety and Culinary Skills 1 in the first semester. Baking students are encouraged to take Baking 1 if they have room in their schedule. Culinary students are required to take Baking 1, but often it's not recommended for them until their second semester. Students completing a culinary course of study will eventually take classes such as Garmage 1 and 2, Human Resource Management, Cost Control, Additional Baking Classes, and Spanish in the Workplace. Baking students will take additional classes such as Artisan Breads, Cake Design and Decorating, Confection Artistry, Chocolate Artistry, European Cakes and Torts, Pedophores and Pastries, Plated Desserts, Production, and Marketing. The hospitality curriculum prepares students for supervisory and management positions in hotels, restaurants, resorts, and more. Classes include front office management, food preparation, guest services, sanitation, menu writing, quality management, purchasing, and many more. There are a lot of electives built into the hospitality curriculum, and students can track in specific ways, such as with certificates for entrepreneurship, hotel management, front office management, resort management or restaurant management. As previously stated, we generally recommend that you declare double or triple majors and that you add certificates as you go through the programs. Certificates give you credentials that you can use along the way and they make our graduation rates look good. Please be sure to talk with an advisor in the department to help you plan your path. Technical requirements are a very important consideration in our programs. We have created a rubric entitled Technical Standards for Students in Culinary Arts or Baking and Pastry Arts. You'll find a link to this rubric on the Wake Tech Baking, Culinary, and Hospitality webpage under Related Links. Please click on that link and take a look at the details of the rubric. In summary, communication skills are very important. Students should be able to communicate effectively and professionally even in noisy, close environments. Students also need to be able to follow verbal and written instructions. We strongly encourage students to take notes during lectures and demonstrations and not rely solely on their memories. 
The demonstration of physical strength and stamina are daily obligations in our industry. Students are expected to perform on their feet for 48 hours every day. Indeed, most of our labs are 48 hours long and students must stand during much of that time. Many kitchen supplies such as bags of flour and sugar, boxes of canned goods, meat products and vegetables are heavy and require lifting and rotating. Stock pots, pans, mixers and other equipment can be large and weighty and must be transported for use. Students will be required to lift up to 50 pounds without assistance. Stooping, bending, and climbing are daily occurrences both in the kitchens and dining rooms. A lot of repetitive motion is involved. Daily cleaning responsibilities require strength, coordination, and mobility. These are important abilities for every student to consider. Sensory skills are also important. Students must be able to hear instructions in a noisy environment. They need to be able to read gauges in addition to printed instructions and should be able to distinguish smells and tastes. Unless a student has an allergy to something, and despite personal preferences, all students will be required to taste everything they prepare. It's critical for our students to taste products so that they know what they're serving and also so that they continue to develop their palate. Of course, any student who does have an allergy of any kind should be sure to notify all of their instructors. The uniforms that we wear are based on tradition, safety, and sanitation. Much of what we wear is designed to protect us and our guests from kitchen hazards. Hats are always required. There are a variety of styles, like floppy or beanie, that are acceptable, but they should always be white and should contain all hair, including bangs. Neckerchiefs are also traditional and are also required. These help to contain perspiration and lend a professional appearance. Pants can be the traditional black and white check, which helps to disguise stains, all black or pinstriped. No black denim or yoga style pants are acceptable in the kitchen. Shoes should cover the top of the foot. They should be black, wipeable, non-slip, and non-porous. These help to protect against spilled hot liquids, drop sharp objects, and slip and fall events. Aprons also help to protect us and keep our uniforms clean. They should be white and can be bib or bistro style. Chef jackets are traditionally double-breasted. These help to prevent scalding from spills and splatters, and they also allow the chef to reverse sides to hide a stain. We require students to have their name embroidered on their jackets in half-inch block letters. If you order through ChefWorks, you can order the embroidery when you place your order for jackets. Uniforms can also be purchased through the bookstore, but you'll have to have the embroidery done separately. There are a variety of local vendors who provide this service. Please see an instructor for recommendations if you need one. The uniform policy prohibits the use of jewelry and accessories. No facial jewelry, including earrings or piercings, are permitted. No watches or bracelets or rings are permitted with the exception of a plain band. Nail polish and false nails are also prohibited. These can slip off or chip and fall into food. All uniforms must be kept neat, well repaired, and very clean. Our preference is for you to be in uniform on your first day of class. For almost all kitchen classes, we have you working in the kitchen on your very first day. If you receive financial aid, funds are released 7 to 10 days prior to the start of the semester. This should give you time to purchase uniforms in advance. Students should be fully dressed in their uniform before entering the kitchen. We ask that you dress in the locker room, not in the kitchens, and come in in your complete uniform. The knives and tools that are required for culinary and baking classes can be purchased as a kit at the bookstore. They come in a backpack with a soft-sided case for knives and tools, as well as all of the items listed on this slide. There is additional room in the backpack for your book or tablet. These are all required tools. While you're required to have all of the tools listed, you're not required to purchase them from the bookstore. They can be purchased separately if you prefer. These knives and tools are good quality, durable products that should serve as students throughout the program and beyond. So while it may seem to be expensive up front, it's a one-time expense. This cost is included in the total cost of de degree programs, approximately $8,000 for culinary and around $8,500 for baking and pastry arts which we discussed earlier in slide 4. The bookstore also stocks a baking kit, however this kit is not required in the first semester. 
Baking and pastry students who pursue cake decorating and other more advanced pastry classes will need these items later. Here is a list of items that are included in the baking kit. Again, these tools can be purchased separately. Please see an instructor if you have questions about the individual tools. From time to time, other tools that are not included in the culinary and baking kits may be useful. Items such as quilting rollers, specialty cake decorating cutters, and digital probe thermometers may be useful for specific classes. These may require additional costs of up to $100 a semester, depending on which classes you are taking. These costs are also included in the $8,500 total program cost that we discussed for the baking degree. Flavors is the acclaimed student-run public restaurant on Wake Tech's main campus. Students in all three programs of study work in Flavors, preparing or serving food or providing desserts and breads. The restaurant is typically open three times a week for about 12 weeks out of each semester. The restaurant seats up to 45 to 50 guests, and the cost of lunch is typically $8 for a three-course meal. No wonder it's extremely popular. Because we can accommodate all of the interest in the restaurant, reservations are granted through an electronic lottery system. To enter, you must go to the Flavors link on our website and create a profile. Once you've done so, you'll be able to request reservations and will be entered into the lottery. All three of our programs require a work-based learning component. Work-based learning classes are two credit classes that require students to complete 320 hours of work in an industry-related business. This experience enables students to apply what they have learned. Most work-based learning students work approximately 20 hours a week over the 16-week semesters. Students must identify an appropriate work experience and complete required paperwork. Students who declare a double or triple major will have to complete a work-based learning class for each of their majors and should conclude the culinary one first. In order to qualify for work-based learning classes, you must have completed 14 credit hours over two semesters and you must have at least a 2.0 GPA. Students can review jobs listed on the College Central Network link. Posted jobs on this link have all been reviewed by Wake Tech's Career and Employment Resources team. In addition to job postings, the CCN site assists with resume writing and assistance with polishing up your interview skills. Please take advantage of this valuable resource. There are study abroad opportunities in the culinary department as well. Each fall, six students take part in an exchange program with a hotel culinary school in France. Students in all three programs of study are eligible to participate. Students qualify based on their GPA, community volunteering fundraising efforts, and status in their coursework. Students who participate go to France for approximately three weeks. Two of those are spent working in industry kitchens and time is allotted for sightseeing. Chef Hadley coordinates this program. If you have additional questions, you can contact him. Many students want to know what to expect once they graduate. Many of our graduates are already working when they graduate. As mentioned earlier, Wake Tech has solid relationships with many industry businesses in the community who look to us for competent staff. Graduates can continue to use the job resources posted on the CCN link on Wake Tech's website. Because our programs are accredited by the American Culinary Federation, graduates are entitled to apply for Certified Culinarian or Certified Pastry Culinarian with the ACF. Students who are interested in continuing their culinary education can transfer to the Johnson & Wales Bachelor's Program. Johnson & Wales will accept all credits from all of Wake Tech's three disciplines. NC State will only accept general education credits. Other colleges like ECU, NC Central, and Meredith will accept some of Wake Tech's credits, but not all. Students will have to check with the institutions they are planning to transfer to to determine which credits will be accepted. For additional information, please look at our Culinary Baking and Hospitality website. If you have questions or would like to schedule a tour of the kitchens, please contact us. Chef Hadley's contact information is listed here, but any of the department instructors will be happy to help you. We look forward to working with you. This concludes our online orientation.